Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to see how we can do a Gradio integration with Yolo V8 from Autolytics. So Gradio can basically be used as an interface so we can upload images, we can run models and so on. We can start up a web application and then we're going to see how we can do the integration. So we both have an AI model and we also have an interface where we can have different parameters, track bars, upload images and so on. So let's just jump straight into the Autolytics documentation. If you go inside the integrations tab, you will be able to see all the integrations that we have. We already have videos about a lot of the things in here, so you can basically just go through them. If we scroll a bit further down, we can see we have like TensRT, OpenVINO, ONNX for exporting the model, ML flow, weights and biases. But if we go down to the Gradio tab, we can see how we can do integration with Gradio and Autolytics Yolo V8. So first of all here, we can see we have a short introduction. You can read about like why you should use Gradio for optic detection. And Gradio is really good if you want to create quick demos and basically just be able to share your demos, run real web applications pretty fast. You only need a few lines of code and wrap the Gradio code around your application and you can send it over. You can run on local host. You can even deploy them. It is often deployed on Hawk and Face so you can share them with your team members, colleagues, or basically just show off your demos with Yola V8. So right now, if you just scroll a bit further down here, we can see that we have a user-friendly interface, real-time adjustments, and broad accessibility. This is basically the interface where we can basically just tune whatever we want, customize it with titles, text, images, even videos in here as well, confidence score with these track bars, intersection over union, so we have different types of parameters that we can set in here as well. And in a lot of the cases, we will also have some basic examples. So you can just choose from them. You will have some example images or videos when you're showing your demos of the applications and projects that you have created. If we just scroll a bit further down, we can then see how to install Gradio, which is pretty easy. Just as with Autolytics, we just need to pip install and then Gradio. So the framework that we're going to use. So here we can read about like how to use the interface. I'm going to show you that in just a second. Some example use cases with the two images. But again, you can also use your own custom images, upload them into the Gradio demo. So you can pretty much just do, and it's really easy to work with. It's just a few lines of code, just as the Autolytics framework, have some different parameters that you can tune, different modules. And then we also have some different functionality that you can import directly from Gradio as well. We have to use the example here. I'm just going to copy paste it into a custom Python script in a second. So let's not go into that. We also have the parameter explanation, image, confidence score, intersection over union threshold. If you want to evaluate your model, see how it performs at different confidence scores or intersection over union values. You can ask many track bars, ask many parameters. You can even like have drop down menus where you can choose which of the models that you want to deploy and basically run inference with. So it's pretty easy to work with. Let's now jump into a Python script and see how we can do a Gradio integration, open it up on localhost and see this web application running with a Yolo V8 model. So right now I've just opened up an empty Python script. Let's go in and take the code example from the Autolytics documentation. Again, we have wrappers around all of that. It's really easy to work with. It's just a few lines of code that you can import and it's pretty much the exact same thing as if you're training, if you're running inference, the guides, the real world projects, everything that we have in here, we have a user example. So you guys can see how easy it is to get started and use it in your own applications and projects. So here I'm just going to copy it. We go back into the code editor again. I'm going to paste it. Let's go through the code and actually explain what is going on. So as you guys are familiar with, we need to import the modules to start with. We need assets and also YOLO. So we can create an instance of our YOLO model. And we're just going to choose the YOLO V8 nano model in this example. Then we have a function which is called predict image. And it's basically just a callback function that we're going to run once we drag in an image or we want to show one of the examples. We choose one of the examples inside our application. Then we're going to call this predict image and it's going to show us the results. So right now we call predict image. We throw in an argument with our image, the confidence threshold and also intersection over union threshold because we're going to have track bars where you can basically just tune those parameters and that will be the input to this function as well. So we always change the confidence score and intersection over union before we do predictions inside of our Gradio interface. We do a predict function with our model. So we call our source equal to our image, set the confidence score, intersection over union. We want to show the labels and also show the confidence score on top of our predictions when we visualize them. We also specify the image size, so it's 640 by 640. Then we can take the results, basically just have a for loop running through all the results depending on the number of detections we have. Then we're just going to call r.plot, so you can just, from the results, you can just call plot directly. So it's going to run all the different kind of parameters that you have 
thrown into the function up here at the top. And then we're going to convert the array to a PLI image so we can show it inside the Gradio application. We're going to return the image so we can then visualize it inside our interface. Now we're going to create a Gradio interface. So from gr.interface, so this is just how we initialize the in interface. Right now we have our function. So this is what's going to happen once we're using our application. So we call the predict image function. We show the input, so our input will be a PLL image. We upload the image and then we can have these sliders, so the track bars that we can tune our thresholds with. So right now we can just specify minimum value, maximum value, and the default one that we're going to use with. And these are usually pretty good to just get started with. Then you can always tune them with this slider. Then the output will be a PLL image again, but now we have the results with all our bounding boxes, confidence scores, and also labels for our detections. We can specify the title, the description, and also throw some examples. So you just need to specify the path to the images, videos. You can also like use sources and so on inside Gradio. You can even have your webcam, IP cameras, and so on. And you can use all of that together with Ultralytics by just specifying this source. So it's pretty easy to work with. It integrates nicely with v 8 and Ultralytics. It's just a few lines of code and you have a whole AI project application up and running in a demo. And this can be used for showing models that you're trying out, showing models that you're trained and so on, instead of just having it in a Python script. It's also easier to deploy. You can use Hawk and Face and so on, for example. It is pretty good to use in there. Now we're ready to launch our application. We just call iFace.launch. It's going to launch it up open interface, run the model, create an instance of the model. So we're pretty much good to go now. I'm just going to create a new terminal with a command prompt. So we use my Anaconda environment. And then we just call Python Gradio test.py and it's going to open up on my local host. First of all, it just needs to create an instance of our model. It shouldn't open up in a browser in just a second. So we can see that it's now running on our local URL. We can also create a public link if you said share equal to true inside this um, launch function. So right now, let's just open it up. I'm just going to follow the link, open it up in our browser. We can drop an image in here. If you just want to take a custom image from your computer, you can just throw it in there and it's going to do predictions with a YOLO V8 model. We can have our sliders. You just play around with them and then it's going to use these values when it does inference. So it's going to take one of the examples. This one here is just going to process the image. So right now, we need to hit submit. Once we hit submit, it's going to call the callback function, the predict image function. Now we can see that it's now processing two seconds. So it took around like two, three seconds just to get the inference, show all the results and so on and put it inside our great Joe demo. We have all the bounding boxes with the labels and also the confidence scores. So this is how easy it is to test out your own models, create demos and applications around them. And this is actually like pretty cool. You can also train your own custom models. We have a bunch of videos for that. Take a data set, train a custom model. You can just specify the path to that model that you have gotten from your training. And then you can do inference inside of Gradio, integrated together with YOLO V8 and Ultralytics. And then you have everything up there. Definitely go and test it out on your own. So thank you guys for watching this video here. I hope you learned a ton and definitely go in and check this out. It's really cool. You can set up whole machine learning computer vision application and projects with a demo in just five to 10 minutes. Definitely go in, test it out, and then I'll just see you guys in the next video. Until then, happy learning.